Hello guys, thanks for watching this video and today what we're going to be doing is using a 99 pence keypad and an Arduino to do a very simple project where you press down a button on the keypad and it outputs it to the Arduino serial monitor. I'm going to show you how the keypad works and also the keypad library which is available for free on the internet. Um, so what you'll need today is this keypad which you can get out of uh, from most major electronics retailers and places like eBay and Amazon. Uh, it costs me one pound. You'll need an Arduino board and then a computer which runs the Arduino IDE. Um, so I'll just show you just quickly what this is. It's called the 4x4 matrix keypad and it's got numbers 1 to 9, the times by and the hashtag symbol and then A, B, C and D going down. Um, now there is a 3 by 4 but it just has the numbers 1 to 9 and then um, the, uh, times by and hashtag symbol. It doesn't have the A, B, C and D. However, being as it's so cheap, I just went for the 4x4. Four four. Um, and you can, on mine, you can peel off the back and you can actually see the circuit. And it goes like that. Okay, so I'll just stick that back on. <coughs> on the bottom here, it has female um, headers. So we need to put in some jumper wires so that we can connect it to the Arduino. Um, and the wiring is very simple for this one, um, n nothing advanced at all. All you need to do is connect it to digital pins, and it doesn't matter which ones. However, on the example code that I'm going to show you, it uses, let me just take a look, 2 through to 9. Now, there is 8, there's 8 connections that we need to make. And you sort of to eight different digital pins because there are four rows going across and eight rows going down. Okay, um, so once you put jumper wires all on the bottom, um, go from one end to the other, going to two through to nine. This should be very simple. And if you didn't want to use jump wires on the end, you could put it on a breadboard and use some header pins. That would be fairly simple if you were doing this project on a breadboard. However, it doesn't actually need a breadboard at all. So, sorry about this, it'll just be two seconds whilst the wire is up. And there we go. So, very simple wiring, and there we have the keypad hooked up to the Arduino. All you need now is just a USB cable, and plug it into your computer, and let's get started with the code. Okay, so now I'm going to talk you through the code really, really quickly. Um, we're going to be using the keypad library just to make everything a little bit simpler. Um, so the first line, hashtag include keypad.h, is just including the keypad library, which you will need to get. But that's fairly simple. You just go to sketch, include library, manage library, search for the keypad library, and then download it. And then const byte rows equals four. That's to say there's four rows. And then const byte calls equals four. So there's four columns. And you need to change that to three if you've got a four by three keypad. Then below, what we're basically doing is we're saying which key, um, when it's pressed down, does what is equal to what. Um, and then we're creating a character called keys. Um, and then below, we've got the row pinouts of the keypad and the column pinouts uh, where they're connected to on the Arduino board and um, then that line below is um, basically what uses it uses everything above pretty much in one line um, and it makes the key map of the keys so it says character keys rows calls well that's 
in the using the library it's called make key map um, and that's saying where what each key does what and then row row pins call pins rows calls so that basically um says which key does what and it also says um it says what the column pinouts and the row pinouts uh, how many rows there are, how many columns there are, it does it all in one line and then in the void setup the serial.begin 9600 that's just the standard rate of communication between the Arduino and the serial monitor um, there's, there's nothing unusual there I could explain for a while about how it works and everything but I'm not going to at the moment because it's not that important, it's just always 2600 and it, it doesn't really matter why but that's just the standard rate of communication and then below it's um, saying if there is a key if there is a key um, serial.println key so print it to the serial monitor that last line and before that it's create the character key is equal to keypad.get key and keypad.get key will see if there's a key pressed down or not so then it'll save whatever key pressed down into key and then below we're testing it if there is a key then do this so hopefully you understood everything there hopefully it wasn't too complicated for you but that is it for today thanks for watching and i'll see you next time